Okay, so I've just unpacked my uh, my latest toy here. It's the uh, Wi-Fi Pan Cam system from Markham, uh, brand new, 2015. It is December, well, 15 or 16th here. Um, so, as we unpacked it, came with the uh, came with this nice case here. Camera's designed to go ahead and uh, and fit right inside of it. Um, you can see we've got the uh, looks a little bit like a tip up, and uh, you got a handle here. You got straps here for your 12 volt battery. It does have an internal battery, um, but you got uh, straps there for that. You've got a uh, spot here for the uh, for the camera to fit. You can strap that in with the Velcro. You got your camera attachment here. You got an AV outlet there, and then the, this cord here actually is for the uh, extra battery if you need it. Um, the panning system is down here. We're going to get into that a little bit later. And then it's got a spool system on the outside. Uh, it does come with a charger. And um, I've already attached the, uh, attached the fin to the outside here. Um, it also has the attachment for downward viewing, which we'll show in just a little bit. So um, just went ahead and snapped in the fin on the back. And uh, just kind of clips in there uh, real intuitively. And then you've got this, uh, this section here for downward viewing. And so here's a look at it in the downward view. Obviously the panning mode uh, wouldn't do any good here. Um, does seem to hang very straight up and down. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and get to that app. I'm going to go to the Play Store. And I'm going to search. And we got uh, Markham Camera. And it comes up, and uh, I've already got an update here. That's good. I'm going to update that. But uh, that's what it looks like. And I've already got it installed. Um, you'll just go ahead and hit uh, hit install. I'm going to go ahead and update this. So once you've installed it, go ahead and open it. And um, kind of hard to read here. The one on the left says edit. The one on the right says enter. I'm going to go ahead and try to edit. And um, gives you a number. And you're going to go ahead and punch in that number. Um, the default is uh, is uh, in the directions, and then you can go ahead and uh, change your password. So I'm going to okay. So we're back to the uh, home screen here. I'm going to go ahead and enter. And uh, I'm not uh, the camera's not on, but that is basically it. You're back to your home screen. If the camera's on, we go ahead and uh, and see the uh, what the camera's seeing. If you're uh, oh, the battery's dying. If you're having any uh, any troubles, um, I've had to uh, go to my Wi-Fi at the top here and uh, turn that off and on a couple times. And um, so if I turn that off and then go ahead and hold, I want to hold that, turn that back on, and it'll show my what I've got out there. And then I'm looking for that. Uh, I'm looking for my. Um, Markham Wi-Fi. Just make sure I'm installed there and that's on. And uh, I've had to do that a couple times to be able to get it going. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and attach the uh, attach the camera cord um, to the base. This is the panner. We just kind of loop it into there. Rotate it a quarter turn. It's locked in. Again, give yourself uh, a, a nice loop. A nice loop here so that uh, it doesn't catch and you see it's got a little, uh, little cut in here you can just pinch it in so you don't get any more coming off of the spool as the spools on the side take it back off quarter turn loop it spool it on pull that off spool it back on and you're ready to move so i'm going to go ahead and uh and see if i can show how the panning is going to move if i can back up far enough here how the panning is going to move here I'm pulling it, you can see the motor is turning the panner there. So I swipe going the other way, it pushes it the other way. Um, if I hit the little icon there, it goes, it looks to be about 20 degrees maybe, maybe a little bit less, 15 degrees. I can advance it uh, so far. So that's how the panner works. Um, actually pretty uh, pretty nice little system so far. Motor doesn't seem super powerful, uh, but it's there. I guess the biggest question is going to be um, when this portion is setting in, 
we got a couple lines coming out going into the ice is that going to freeze um because the cable actually will have to spin and is that motor going to be powerful enough to uh, uh to move that line and so uh, i guess that'll be the big question and so what i've done here is went ahead and uh suspended the camera from the ceiling so we can uh, see what it would look like if it was set in the water obviously this rope wouldn't be here um you've got a power button right here that we can turn on and off this is for the uh um, extra external battery it has an internal battery it says up to six hours uh, comes with this uh, it's just to get a little uh, a fuse and uh, attachment to be able to plug into your, to your regular 12 volt uh, rechargeable battery camera is working and to move I can just swipe it and pull across and it's actually scanning around should uh, see my feet in just a minute and so you can see we've got a picture so I want to take a picture of this and snap a photo to record hit record I'm now recording you can see we've got that uh, the light is flashing there and I can continue to pan and go both ways go back the other way it's a little bit wobbly because of the fact that uh, the camera is just hanging in the air. <clears throat> if it was in the water, obviously it would be much more s still because of the resistance. Next thing we can do, if I want to go just uh, hit the little icon here, that turns the camera set uh, mount rather than do the, uh, the pull to, uh, to pan. So I can go either way with that hit that button again and we're panning okay so now I'm going to use my phone here to uh, take a look at some pictures that we've taken so I'm going to go to browse and uh, we've got some pictures here's a still I took real quick and uh, it's going to open up with my gallery we'll see and there's a, there's a picture I could share that right away if I wanted to um, go ahead and go back and uh, take a look at the video I took at the beginning here and um, it's showing the video I think that's very high quality video okay so I shut the lights off and here I've got my control here I'm gonna go ahead and turn the LED on and then swipe that up turn the light on playing with it a little bit see I've got it turned on here and not working great it's a little bug they got there see it says the lights on it's lit up red but uh, I got no light on there it goes turn it maybe the plus did it see if I can play with that again yeah it looks like maybe you got to turn the plus to get it on oh now it's going on and off well, they got a little bug to work out there um, looks like it's working better now yeah, and there it goes off. So maybe hit that plus button to get it to come on and off if you're having trouble with it. Okay, so you can see we don't have any ice. So I went and suspended this uh, using a cement block. Uh, suspended this over the side, and um, so you can see what the video uh, looks like here. And uh, panning around. Um, be really honest with you, I'm very nervous about the strength of that motor in the ice. Um, had to monkey with it a little bit. Uh, the cord was hitting the edge of the dock, and it just kind of it kind of sounded out. So uh, really want to test the the distance of the turn here, but I'm afraid um, the panning might not be the problem, or the signal might not be the problem. It might be the fact that that motor is not strong enough to turn the pan. So I'm just gonna make sure it's working here close, and then move a distance away to see how far I can go. It says 100 yards. We'll go uh, we'll go to 50 and try it there. Okay, here I'm about 40 yards away. Still, I've still got the signal. Let's see if I can move it. Still able to be able to pan. And again, I'm more worried about that motor than I am the signal. But the signal seems to be strong. I can still move it around a little bit. Try another uh, another 50 feet. This is about 150 feet away. And let's see if I can pan. Still got a good signal. Still being able to pan. To wrap it up, uh, I lost the signal at about uh, around 200 feet. I had to go behind the garage and I lost the signal. 
I think it's probably going to be uh, easy 250 to 300 feet what they advertise uh, once you're uh, once you're on the ice, open water, and uh, you know nothing in the way. Uh, very very concerned with the the strength of that motor turning the panning. Uh, that's just just uh, it's got me nervous. Um, going to uh, check that out on the ice as soon as I can, and uh, if it's not enough to uh, to have some resistance because there's going to be some slush in there, there's going to be some snow in the way, and uh, if that motor isn't strong enough to pan that that camera, then it's it's useless. Um, did have a little bit of glitches getting connected uh, as I got uh, too far away trying to get back connected. Took a little bit. Had to basically bring the uh, the camera the camera and the phone together to get connected. Um, I'd suggest, uh, and what I will do is uh, get it connected close, then set the camera, and then uh, you know move to the to the wherever I'm going to be watching it, and then you know stay connected. But uh, it looked like it was kind of a pain in the butt to be disconnected and then trying to reconnect um, with cold hands and and uh, and fingers. Uh, trying to manipulate the phone uh, tablet would be a little bit easier, but uh, nobody wants to do that. We want to we want to fish, but uh, basically that's it. I'll try to uh, if I get information, especially on that motor for the panning, I will uh, will update it. I uh, uh, hope you liked it. Hope it's informative, um, and uh, thanks for watching.